Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to CTV News in English on the 5th of November 2012. Please have a look at the menu lines tonight. At the invitation of His Excellency Thong Sing Tamawung, Laos Prime Minister, Cambodian Prime Minister, Samdadi Chu Hun Sen, and Chairs of ASEAN led the Cambodian High Ranking Official to attend the 9th ASEAN Europe Summit. Cambodian Alliance for Income Transparency organized national conference on good implementation of extractive industry governance and income management. A senior official of the Ministry of National Defense of Cambodia affirmed that the U.S. Defense Secretary will make a one-day official visit to Cambodia. The new Stangmien J Sky Bridge located in Kanmen Jai will be completed the construction project by 2014. At the invitation of His Excellency Thong Sing Tamawung, Laos Prime Minister, Cambodian Prime Minister, Samdadi Chu Hun Sen, and Chairs of ASEAN led the Cambodian high-ranking official to attend the 9th ASEAN Europe Summit. On the 4th of November, Cambodian Prime Minister Samdadi Chu Hun Sen and delegates left for Laos to attend the 9th AC Europe Meeting Summit to be held from the 5th to 6th of November 2012 in Laos, Cabrero, Vientiane. Senior government officials accompanying the Prime Minister include His Excellency Ho Sati and His Excellency Prasakon ministers attached to the Prime Minister, His Excellency Sok Chandar Sophir, Secretary General of the Council for Development of Cambodia, and His Excellency Sok Si Panar, advisor to the government. The Asia Europe Meeting Summit is an international forum focused on Asia Euro dialogue in the fields of security, economy, education and culture, and environment. The 9th Asia Europe Meeting Summit this year will be held under the theme Friends for Peace, Partners for Prosperity. The summit is an important opportunity for Asia Europe leaders to discuss regional and international issues, particularly on food and energy security, sustainable development, economic and financial crisis, and natural disaster response. According to a press release from Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, the summit will adopt the Vientiane Declaration on Strengthening Policy for Peace and Development and will issue a chairman's statement. On the sidelines of the summit, Samdadi Chu Hun Sen will hold separate bilateral talks with Her Excellency Julie Gillard, Prime Minister of Australia, and His Excellency Yoshihiko Noda, Prime Minister of Japan. The Asia Euro Forum was established in 1996 in Bangkok, capital city of Thailand. At the beginning, there were only 26 member states. To date, the number of members has increased to 48 countries, and the forthcoming 9th Asia Europe Meeting Summit will become three new members, including Bangladesh, Norway, and Switzerland. President of the European Council, His Excellency Herman van Rompuy, said that the European Community will continue to support the reform policy of the Royal Government of Cambodia. Cambodian Prime Minister Samdach Akkeh Mahasana Badeide Chu Hun Sen met with President of the European Council, His Excellency Herman van Rompuy, at the Peace Palace. His Excellency Herman van Rompuy said that the European Community will continue to support the reform policy of the Royal Government of Cambodia. The European Community is also willing to further strengthen and expand its cooperation with ASEAN, underlined the President of the European Council. His Excellency Herman Van Rompuy expressed his condolences over the demise of Cambodia's King's father Samdak Prenorodom Sehanu and highly value the wise leadership of Samdak De Cho Hun Sen. In response, Samdak De Cho Hun Sen expressed profound thanks to the EC for his support to the development of Cambodia. Samdak De Cho Hun Sen informed his guests of the country's deep reform program, including the public reform, judicial reform, and military reform, as well as the anti corruption work, the suppression of fishing laws, and the land titling program, etc. The Prime Minister also requested the EC side to further support Cambodia's education sector. Katina Festival is celebrated annually for Cambodian people 
to contribute their donation to the Bodhis monk to build a achievement inside the pagoda. In order to promote a traditionally religious belief for Cambodian people, which has been historically recognized to practice Theravada Buddhism, Cambodian Prime Minister Somdade Cho Hun Sen and his family, accompanied by Cambodian high-ranking officer, celebrate the Katchen Festival at Batumbatai Pagoda located in Dongpeng district of Phnom Penh capital city. Fund received for this ceremony was amounted to over 420,000 US dollars. Katchen is one of the biggest religious festivals in Cambodia. This year, it falls from 31st of October to 28th of November 2012. During this period, people generally contribute their donation in both materials and costs for the Buddhist monk to build a human inside their respective pagodas. The Kingdom of Cambodia has been historically recognized to practice Theravada Buddhism, which is a dominant religion in Cambodia, and has existed in her historical records since at least the 5th century of Anno Domini. In Cambodia, about 35% of the population practice Theravada Buddhism. Cambodian Alliance for Income Transparency organized national conference on good implementation of extractive industry governance and income management. His Excellency Dr. Jim Yip, Chairman of Commission on Economy, Finance, Banking, and Audit of National Assembly and how representative of Brayvang Province, presided over the National Conference on Good Implementation of Extractive Industry Governance and Income Management, which organized by the Cambodian Alliance for Income Transparency. Mr. Naip Sintai, Chairman of Alliance Committee for Income Transparency, said that the National Conference aimed at raising the challenge of development of extractive industry governance in Cambodia, and these challenges would be served widening of initiatives for income transparency among civil society, government and Cambodia people. His Excellency Dr. Jim Yip said that through the implementation of National Development Strategic Plan and continuing of Rectangular Strategic Development Phase 2, which is the social economic policy of the royal government, his Excellency Dr. Jim Yip added that building up the confidence of investors based on good governance and standard framework creating law to seek development. A senior official of the Ministry of National Defense of Cambodia affirmed that the U.S. Defense Secretary will make a one-day official visit to Cambodia. According to a press release from Cambodian Ministry of Defense on Monday, U.S. Secretary of Defense Mr. Leon Panetter will make a one-day official visit to Cambodia on November 16 in order to bluster military ties between the two countries. During the visit, Mr. Leon Panetter will hold bilateral talks with His Excellency General Diabang, Cambodian Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of National Defense. The talks will focus on cooperation in the defense sector between Cambodia's Defense Ministry and the U.S. Department of Defense. The both sides will discuss cooperation in military human resource development, searching for remain of U.S. soldiers missing in work time, and other issues. His Excellency Lieutenant General Nam Sawat, Director General of the Defense Ministry's Policy and Foreign Affairs Department, said in a press briefing that it will be the first time that Mr. Leon Panetar visits Cambodia to boost bilateral ties in military and security. He added that Mr. Panetar's visit to Cambodia will coincide with the Asian Defense Minister retreat to be held in Cambodia's Simri province from the 15th to 17th of November. So there could be an informal consultation between the Asian Defense Minister and Mr. Panetar. The General Secretary of National AIDS Authority, His Excellency Dr. Tang Kunti, presided over the monthly technical council meeting. The National AIDS Authority held a monthly technical council meeting under the chairmanship of His Excellency Dr. Tang Kunti, General Secretary of National AIDS Authority and President of monthly technical council, with participation of representatives from related officials, 
and representative of people living with AIDS. Followed by subdegree and principal of the National AIDS Authority, members have a duty to provide a support and recommendation on key issues and weaknesses to prepare for action plan strategic policy and labor implementation revenue in response to HIV and AIDS transmissions. His Excellency Dr. Tang Kunti said that the meeting is intended to prepare for action plan draft of Technical Working Group Council to implement in 2013, and it is also intended to point out key roles to improve response strategy towards HIV and AIDS transmission, which will be achieved zero principle toward without new HIV and AIDS transmission, no discrimination, and no deaths cause AIDS. His Excellency Dr. Tang Kunti has proposed all members to speak out common and targeted recommendations to resolve the facing challenges. Ministry of Labor and Vocational Training held a dissemination campaign on work condition, sanitation, work safety, social security, benefit, fan care prevention, and road accidents. Social Security Pension of Ministry of Labor and Vocational Training has organized a disseminating campaign on work condition, sanitation, work safety, social security benefit, vent case prevention, and road accidents through worker transportation for Sangwu Garment and Sue Making Factory, located in Trapeng Wen Village, Trapeng Commune, Somrang Town District of Kampung Spi Province, under the chairmanship of His Excellency Dr. Hoi Han Song, Secretary of State of Ministry of Labor and Vocational Training. Mr. Chan Muni Rod, head of administration and representative of Sangwoo Factory, said that founded in 2006, the factory consists of 5,000 employee workers, while 4,772 workers are men and 328 workers are women. The factory is divided into different departments such as warehouse, sewing, ironing, finishing sector, administration, packing, marketing, and sanitation divisions. Besides employment, it also created a cinema, sporting campus, and free accommodation. His Excellency Dr. Hoi Han Song has told the workers about government policy and government's attention, which intends to make workers and employer harmonizing and promote a living standard of workers by providing additional benefit, free transportation, free accommodation, and healthcare fees. His Excellency Dr. Hoi Han Song also informed all workers to respect labor law by maintaining the factory order. The new Stang Mien Jai Sky Bridge, located in Khan Mien Jai, will be completed the construction project by 2014. While Seven Makara Sky Bridge was officially inaugurated to serve its services on 6 of January 2012, a two-year construction project is needed to build the Stung Mien Jai Sky Bridge, which initiated by Phnom Penh Municipality. All affected residents living near the bridge has been gradually relocating their houses since October of 2012, with a proper compensation provided by Phnom Penh Municipality. Today, the houses in the affected areas has been completely pulled down. After the construction project completion, Stung Mien Jai Sky Bridge will be able to deal with tragic congestion issues which have often been causing people living in Phnom Penh, capital city, difficult to travel. Moreover, the bridge would also provide more beautiful view of Phnom Penh, capital city. We hope that this new achievement will be pleased and satisfied by Cambodian people. Malaria is a mosquito bone infection disease which often found in the rainy season and mostly happened in the border provinces of Cambodia. According to a report of the National Center for Malaria Control released, it shows that Cambodia recorded only 35 deaths from malaria during the first nine months of this year, a 42% decrease from 60 deaths at the same time period last year. The report attributed the drop in the malaria death toll to awareness campaigns and the distribution of mosquito nets to the disease-prone groups of people. In August, the center began to distribute about 1.14 million insecticide-treated mosquito nets to groups of vulnerable people. Malaria is a mosquito-borne infectious disease. In Cambodia, the disease is often found in the rainy season and mostly happens in the border provinces and forests and mountainous provinces. 
The country is committed to eradicating the death from malaria by 2015. To reach the goal, it needs a budget of 131 million US dollars, according to the center. In 2011, the disease killed 98 people in the country. Thanks for watching our news program. See you again next time. I'm Monica. And I am Irutana. Good night.